Good afternoon everyone, it's Steve Cap 5 juf So I've got another video today. What we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about uh, a couple of features on the radio. The first one we're going to talk about is the mic gain and how to adjust it. And it's located right here, mic gain. And the second two we're going to talk about are the microphone equalizer, which is also referred to as a parametric equalizer. And we also have the speech processor, which, used in, which is used in upper sideband. And what the speech processor does is it actually takes your voice and it processes it for the maximum average power to give you the, the most forward um, uh, you know, thrust on your, your, your voice speaks on the uh, upper sideband. So we're going to go over these three things together. First we'll talk about uh, setting the mic gain. The mic gain needs to be set uh, on the radio and, and the way I understand it is when you set the initial mic gain you leave, you're going to leave the microphone equalizer off and the speech processor off. So to set the mic gain what we'll do is and I'll go back, I've got some information I'm going to put in the uh, the body of the email, but to set the mic gain for upper sideband what we'll want to do is we want to touch the meter button here until we have ALC. Now notice right here it's it's toggling through uh, there's power, there's uh, automatic limited control, that's what we want SWR compression which we're going to, is going to be used on the processor part of the video uh, there we go, ALC. So what the manual tells us to do is we're going to go ahead and program uh, the mode for upper sideband. Then we're going to press band and enter. And I'm going to enter a frequency of 28.420. Uh, and I'm going to press enter. And then what we'll do is we'll go over to mic gain. Now what happens is, notice this, I'm going to press MCH to reset this. Right now we have MCH here. When I press mic gain, notice what happens. Now we have a reading of 30, but also look what happens. That's changing up there. So what it tells us to do is, it tells us to key down, and what we're looking for is we want to see activity within this blue area here so typically it says the peaks up to half scale so we'll go ahead and practice adjusting that real quick and we'll do that so what I'm gonna do is I've got the mic gain here and you see I have the adjustment is the frequency in use so right there we're a little bit high I'm gonna I adjusted this down to and I'm running 50 watts right now is the frequency in use is the frequency in use I can probably go up a little higher they want it to go about half scale is the frequency in use Kilo India 5 Juliet Uniform Foxtrot is the frequency in use and I like that right there that's right at half scale and that's exactly where we need to be so we're gonna leave that alone that's how you adjust the mic gain for your single sideband now we're done with the mic gain part of it so the next thing we're going to go over is we're going to talk about the uh, speech processor so what the speech processor does is again it takes your power and it actually will provide a compression of your audio quality or your audio peak so I'm going to turn the speech processor on now notice what happens up here this is going to change the processor. See how that just changed? So now what it tells us to do is to go to the compression. So let me show you an example here. Uh, the processor, it, it's still not on. Actually, it shows that there, you have to touch it one more time and then it'll give you a number. But I'm going to turn it back off. So when I key down now, notice what happens on the compression. Nothing's going to happen because the speech processor is turned off. KI5 JUF testing. Nothing happens. So when I turn on the processor, now this compression portion of the of the 
of the uh, screen will now be active because the processor and the compression work together. Now what it tells us to do here is to talk at a normal voice and you want to have activity between 5 to 10 dB. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take control of it with the multifunction and I'm going to key up and I'm going to adjust this. So I'm going to turn it up and it's probably going to go way above the 10 dB. Is the frequency in use? Is the frequency in use? We're way too high there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it back down and we'll turn it to 20. Is the frequency in use? Is the frequency in use? If you notice right there, you see how it's moving back and forth between 5 to 10? So we'll try it again. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit more. Is the frequency in use? Is the frequency in use? Kilo, India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot, is the frequency in use? That's about where we want it. I'm going to turn it down just a hair. Let's try it again, make sure no one's on there listening. Is the frequency in use? Is the frequency in use? Kilo, India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot, calling CQ10, CQ10 and listening. That's about where we want it. You don't want it to be any higher than that. They want it to go right here. Now what I'll do now is I'm going to make a recording so you can hear what it sounds like. There's somebody coming in there. I'm going to make a recording. I'm not going to be actually uh, press memory. Is the frequency in use? KI5 JUF testing. Recording 12345. Alright, let's listen to what we sound like. Is the frequency in use? KI5 JUF testing. Recording 12345. So, we've got somebody out there. Let's see if we can find them. Can't find them. Oh, we'll get off the frequency. There's somebody. And we'll go up here so we don't interfere with them. Okay, so that's how you set the microphone gain, and also it showed we just showed you how to set the processor. So those two things work together. The last thing I'll show you is the parametric equalizer. And the parametric equalizer, um, again, uh, it can be used with the processor on or the processor off. But let me show you, uh, the parametric equalizer is basically uh, an equalizer. And what it does is it goes through, and like I showed you earlier, you've got uh, the combinations or you can run the microphone equalizer off and the processor off. No big deal. You can leave the equalizer off and turn the processor on. You just need to set the compression level. And then you can turn the microphone equalizer on and also the processor off. And lastly, you would probably run, want to run the microphone equalizer and the processor on. So, again, um, this is what the parametric equalizer looks like right here. It's kind of complicated. I tried to put together some ideas. This is uh, the, the frequency response. This is the dB gain. Uh, so again, that's I've, I've got to do some more work on this, but I want to show you where these settings are uh, because what I did is I actually created a, uh, a cheat sheet and I did some settings, but let me show you how to get to these. Okay, so if we have the processor on, which we have, Let's go back over here. The processor is on. Now we're going to turn the microphone equalizer on. Now when I do that, nothing changes, but we're going to clear this. We're going to go back to memory channel mode. Now what we're going to do is with the processor on and the microphone equalizer on, we're going to press menu. And what we're going to do is we're going to locate the functions 128, uh, 128 through 136. 
Now what I did is I went in and made some custom adjustments here. So starting at 128, I changed it from 200 to 100. 129, I went from 0 to 10. 130, I went from 2 to 3. Uh, 131, I went from 7, uh, 700 to uh, 800. No, excuse me, I went from uh, 800 to 700. And on this one here, I went from 0 to negative 3. This one here, I went from a 1 to a 7. This one here, I went from a 21 to a 3200. This one here, I went from a 0 to a 10. And this one here, I went from a 1 to a 2. So these, you see the P in front of it? That means the parametric equalizer uh, function is on. And whenever you make any settings or changes to this, these... Uh, there's 200 is the default. And I'm going to change it back to 100. So if you have the parametric equalizer turned off, like right there, then what you would do is you would, instead of adjusting 128 through 136, you would adjust settings 119, uh, 119, yeah, 119 through 127. And that's if you have the parametric equalizer off. Notice the the right now the P is not in front of parametric or prime tech. As soon as I go down here, P is in front of the prime tech. That means the param the processor speech processor is on with the parametric. So sorry for the confusion on that. So again, that's probably more than I can get into one video. We'll go back and do some more. I'm going to put a lot of this in the body of the email. Hopefully, it'll explain. Uh, make it a little bit clearer. Last thing I wanted to show you is um, if you need to adjust, uh, if you have the v, if you have the fast button disengaged, and you notice right here when I press the fast button, the light will clear or the, the indicator will clear. When I have the fast button turned off, the incremental change is uh, 10 kilohertz, 20 kilohertz. 30 kilohertz, 40, 50 kilohertz. But if I have the fast button turned on, the increment changes from 10, 20, 30 to 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. And on the FM, I'll do FM real quick here, mode. FM. On FM, uh, if we have the fast turned off. The incremental change is uh, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, but if you have the fast turned on, the incremental change is now 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 hertz. So that was something I picked up on that I just wanted to show you. But in review, the main thing I was going over today is how to adjust, uh, how to adjust the mic gain and we we're in FM mode so I need to go back to VFO mode to save to go back with the changes we worked on earlier so the mic gain is uh, mic gain is 32 now when we're doing the mic gain adjustment um, we want to do that with the ALC and we just want to make sure that it stays within the ALC now when we get ready to go to the processor when you go to the processor make sure it's on you have to press it twice to make sure it's on then you want to change this to compression and then you want to make sure you're within 510 dB so again just kind of a quick review um, it's probably not one of the better videos but it's a lot of information I've been trying to learn all this this morning and kind of go over everything uh, main thing is uh, you've got microphone gain settings with the processor off which is right here and then if you have the processor on notice the P you have these settings so I will put some more settings in I'll probably do another video on this where time's up but anyway that's all I got for today I just kinda wanted to give everyone a quick overview and uh, we'll keep working on this and we'll just keep practicing so have a good day from KF5JUF73